It's hard work, but somebody's got to do it. These seasonal workers from the Pacific endure scorching temperatures while picking mangoes at a farm in Darwin's rural area. They're among hundreds who've arrived from Vanuatu and Samoa to help boost the territory's mango picking workforce for this year's harvest. And without them, growers say they wouldn't be able to send their mangoes to market. Well, they're vital. Seasons, seasons wouldn't be possible without them at the moment. Backpacker numbers during the COVID-19 pandemic have dwindled, with the industry now more reliant than ever on seasonal workers from the Pacific. Nearly 400 workers have arrived in Darwin since August, joining dozens who arrived from Vanuatu last year and had their visas extended. It took the NT Farmers Association almost a year of negotiations to bring the workers here. And it hasn't been cheap, with the industry covering the costs of quarantine and charter flights. So we did some costings today, about $1.5 million um, to bring the workers through the Northern Territory. Tavai Tafiono arrived in Australia from Samoa last month, hoping to make some money to support her family overseas. She's now packing and sorting mangoes at this shed in Berry Springs. This company we work in now at Berry Creek Company, we love their hospitality. Yeah, the way they treat us Samoa, that's why we don't want to go back to Samoa because uh, Australia is like a second family to us. We're in a big... Uh pandemic so I have to come to Australia to make my living more extra money here. The NT Farmers Association says there are plans for more seasonal workers to arrive in the coming months. So we're currently planning for more to arrive early in the new year to support the melon industry um, and predominantly at the moment we're looking at Timor-Leste um, as a destination. With the help of seasonal workers, the NT is forecast to produce about 4.7 million trays of mangoes this season. Husni Shams, ABC News.